Hello there guys and welcome back to Wifey Wednesdays. We haven't done one of these in a long time, but um, hopefully we'll get back to uh, weekly uploads a for this series. Schedule. But um, probably not. So today we've got a very special video because we're introducing a new member to the Jenk family. And um, yeah, here she or he is. This is Dobby, the house cat, and uh, she's a kitten. She's around four or five weeks old. Yeah, about five weeks now. And um, do you want to tell the story of how we acquired Dobby? Yeah, last Saturday, my boss texted me saying, do you want a cat? To which I replied, no, not really. Why? And then he told me that he had a mother and a few kittens in the shed, but he didn't know how many. That they were wild, well, not wild, but stray, like, don't have any owners, and he's very, don't let her jump off the table. <laughs> <laughs> and he's very, what, what's the word? He doesn't like to touch animals, yeah. any animal at all, ever. So I got my sister-in-law, and we went down to get the cats, with the full intention of getting the mother as well, but she was way too wild for us, and if we hadn't got them... Well, one, they were too skinny, weren't they? Mm -hmm. They would have probably died. And two, he would have just blocked the shed back up and either they wouldn't have been able to get back in or they wouldn't have been able to get out. So they could have died or, I don't know, like the cats die of exposure. Probably, their lives probably would have ended. So we got the three kittens. We did try going back for the mum a couple of times, but she wasn't having it. So it's a bit sad, isn't it, because we separated them. Yeah, but we still know where Dobby's sisters are. They were my sister. Yeah. So Dobby's still got family around. Yeah. And she goes for play dates. So, um, yeah, she's trying to escape off the table. She's um, very good at escaping. So when we first got the kitten, I wasn't a huge fan. I didn't really want to keep the kitten because we have a dog. Kept asking me, is it too late for us to ring the RSPCA? Exactly, because we've got a dog, and um, he's a he's a dog's dog, like a man's man. He's a dog's dog, and um, he doesn't like cats. He chases cats if he sees them in the garden. He barks at them. So um, we had a rabbit before that we had to had to uh, get rid of because Jasper wouldn't leave it alone, and uh, we was worried that Jasper was going to be the same with the kitten. Um, but he, he's he's okay with the kitten now. He still follows the cat around, but doesn't really do anything. And now just just sort of. Talk to yeah. laying down while... Yeah, she curls up with him sometimes, he goes to sleep now. Yeah, and Dobby likes to play with Jasper's legs when he's um, walking around and likes to annoy him. So, um, yeah, but Dobby last night was... Uh, yeah, we kept him in a travel cart when we first got him. Or her. Her. Well, yeah, because we don't know what the sex is yet because she was... She, he was too young to sex, so she got to go to the vets, or he's got to go to the vets. Um, but yeah, we kept he, her, in a travel cart this past week, like with a bed and the litter tray in there and the food bowls and everything, but it was just for safety reasons really, wasn't it? Like, yeah. Because we still didn't know how Jasper was, is he serious? How Jasper was going to react. And we didn't feel safe sort of leaving her, because obviously we'd be asleep, so we wouldn't be, what's the word, like quick enough to stop anything if it happened. But she started escaping, didn't she? Climbing up the sides. Yeah. So we tried to put a sheet over the top. Anyway, she's just not having it anymore. So last night was the first night out of the cart, but we still shut the door, didn't we? Because Jasper sleeps downstairs usually. Mm-hmm. So of his own free will, by the way. <laughs> so we just shut the door and kept Dobby with us. Would you like to tell them how Dobby shows her love? <laughs> So um, we put Dobby down in her cat bed where she usually sleeps and uh, all the time because she's lazy. She was playful last night anyway, she kept getting out and running around and then we shut the door and turned the light off and then I got up to check the kids, come back and Dobby was on my pillow, she jumped up onto the bed and was snuggling into my pillow so I had to keep putting her down and she kept climbing back up and I kept putting her down and then eventually she like went into bed and laid down so I, we went to sleep. And then in the middle of the night, I was awoken to the cat lying on top of my head while I was asleep, curled up, 
and um, I put it back down again and keep waking up in the middle of the night about three or four different times with the cat so eventually I just left it I was like right cat's sleeping on top of my head then I guess so um, yeah now now the cat sleeps on my head I should wake up this morning now yeah this morning about five o'clock in the morning just before your alarm went off um, she was walking around my head purring she and was hungry she needed breakfast yeah exactly um, but at five in the morning I wasn't getting up to make the cat breakfast so she just kept walking around purring at me and uh yeah. It's bad though, isn't it? Because literally every animal we get just prefers you. Like, I went and purchased Jasper, and like we were living separately at the time. Took him back to mine, like, fed him, I got him a dog bed, dog lead, loads of toys, treats. Take him to his house, and that was it. Like, Jasper doesn't want to know me anymore. And then I bring home a tiny kitten. Your kitten? Yeah, but she's not, look, she's not interested in me at all. She don't care. So, um, yeah, this is the new m- member to our family. Um, Little Darby. I did do a live stream a few days ago of the cat just playing around in the living room. Uh, so some of you might know that we had the cat anyway. Um, but this is like the official introduction. Do you want to put her down? She's getting and annoyed with you. <laughs> so, uh, might have got that. But yeah, originally I wanted to call her Professor McGonagall, but then we discussed it and decided that that's not something we can really say at the vet and keep a straight face. So, yeah. But it's Dobby. It's Dobby. But we're not going to give her any clothes because she's not a free kitten. She's ours. Harry Potter bumps. <laughs> you love the cat now though, don't you? Yeah, great cat. You don't smell very good. So, um, yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, Don't forget to uh, drop a like on the video if you did enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, How many likes do you usually get on a video? 10 to 15. Okay, so if we can get this to 50 likes, then let me get another cat so that she's got a friend. Make sure you drop that dislike, and I'll see you guys in the next one very soon. Hey, boy, is good and he knows it. He don't say it, he shows it. I'm just like DeRozan. If I shoot it, it goes in. I'm in Cali just coasting. Get him so wet, they need coasters. I got a selfie with Oprah. I just ain't ever posted.